Welcome back everyone to another episode of Titans. This is season two, episode thirteen, the finale called Nightwing. <sighs> not gonna lie. Not too hyped. I think the best part is gonna be the costume reveal. Um from what I'm hearing on Twitter, I didn't get any spoilers, but um just the general review, non spoiler reviews of this episode is that it was lackluster. Um which again, it it's it goes along with how the season was going, pretty much. Like, you know, it, it's it was fine up until or, or my last favorite episode was um, I think it was called Deathstroke, the one where um, Dick and Corey fight Deathstroke, and then Jason gets dropped off the roof. That was like my last good episode for me. The rest of them have been okay. They have got good moments, some good plot points, character moments, and stuff. But for lot for as a whole, I think the story really dropped after that, once Connor was introduced. Not saying Connor was the fault. Um, I think he's a great character on the show, and I want to see him next season, because we are getting season three, so, you know, we're, we'll, we'll for sure have that at least. Um, I think he'll be a good addition to the team overall. I just, we need to cut some characters down. We need to get rid of Hawk, Hank and Dawn. Donna needs to either get her shit together or leave. Um, and we need to focus on a storyline, one storyline, not like five, not like ten. Okay, we just need one. Okay, <laughs> we'll start with one storyline, and then we'll we'll think about adding more more storylines going on. Um, but yeah, so, so my hype has kind of died down for the season. But like I said, you know, I want to see I want to see how it ends. We'll see if it's post credit scene at all. Um, I saw that there was a leaked or a scrapped one, um, but I don't know what it was about. So I'll look back and see. About that. Anyways, point is, I'm optimistic. Not op <laughs> that's not the right word. I'm excited to see how this ends, to see where we're gonna, how we're gonna leave this season off. See what kind of starting points we might get for next season. But at this point, I don't know. <laughs> like I said, we'll see. Um, let's just jump into this episode already. What, you're gonna catch the bullet? Yeah. And witness what happens when good people put an end to evil. And what evil are you gonna stop? Sounds like... No. Nice touch. It's gonna be Connor versus All Gar. Walter, one more thing. Yeah. Connor? Gonna kill him. It won't. If they're hurting innocent people, we need to be prepared. Yes. Deathstroke, get down! we got bigger problems right now. Can't deal with your shit. Uh, Corey, please. No. Of her. I'll take care of him. This is my fight. No. Did we not learn the lesson that we need to work as a team? Not one v one. But the same old Dick Grayson. Right. I told you what would happen if the Titans ever reunited. Here we go. Yes. What the hell is happening? <laughs> Okay, the choreo is fine. It's just the freaking camera. It was never gonna work. They need to focus. Longer shots. Yeah. 
feel like there's so much whipping around with this camera, so I can't tell what the action is. Like, I see him flipping around, which is cool, but I don't get to enjoy it. This is gonna take a little getting used to. No. I gotta say, <laughs> I like the new dig. She gotta go. We can't have Jericho on the team because it caused too many problems. Let's yeah. get rid of Rose. No. How's Corey? That stroke's not dead. I swear to God. Okay, guards, time to turn into another animal. Let's go. Any ideas? Hey, Connor! That's your idea, hey, Connor? <laughs> Hey Rachel, clear his fucking mind. Guards, me. Are you okay? I know they did something to you. But we need you, guards. Yes. of Young Justice so much. <laughs> Dick, you gotta <laughs> stop doing that. <laughs> Your dramatic ass entrances. Because I know who you really are. Like, yes, I was seeing this parallel before. And then she had to state it out loud, and I was like, okay, now, now it's just dumb. Remember season one when we were best friends? I'm still kind of reeling over the fact that Deathstroke is dead. <laughs> we dealt with that in the first 15 minutes of this episode. <laughs> Yay! You just killed some people! <laughs> is happening what is this dumb shit right now <laughs> i try to like this show i really am safe now. thank you of course look out oh my god is this where dove dies connor Connor, catch the fucking thing! Someone's gonna die because of this, really? Not Donna! I swear to god. Seriously, over this episode. <laughs> what is even happening right now? This opera singer's just going off. That death wasn't earned at all. That was just, that was literally a death just to be a death, just to be shocking. That wasn't even nothing. Who the fuck is that? Is that Jason? <laughs> you couldn't even give him a red helmet. Come on, guys. <laughs> this fucking show. Hey. I'm making this face because I swear to God. Hey. 
if these two I decide to leave after all this shit happened. Well, like, Donna, Donna died for your sins. <laughs> you better stay on the team and fix your problems. I'm not sure we'd all be here if you hadn't. I'm not quite sure what you're referring to. Mm -hmm. Elko. Yes, Nevada. I'm sorry, I've never been to Elko. Told you, it was Rachel. Have you confused me with someone else? It was Rachel's yeah, fucking fever dream. Perhaps. Tapping into Dick's consciousness. I told you. Ugh. That's what she's been drinking this whole time? I think it's great. I like it. No, I thought this shit wasn't even, like... <laughs> um... A discontinued drink, wasn't it? <laughs> so picky. Uh-oh, trouble. Let's I... go. <sighs> you blackfire. Completely. Don't play. We are family, you bitches. Just in case these parts didn't make it into the edit because of timing and stuff, um, here were the big things I had problems with, and I was bitching about the whole episode. Uh, let's start at the beginning. Um, Deathstroke's dead. Quote unquote. On he's dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Super Soldier with regeneration is dead. Okay. Um, Jericho's in Rose's body. After that scene, we kind of just didn't touch about it. So. I don't know what the fuck they're going to play dude with that, but that that's a problem we got to deal with. Um, yeah, <laughs> Rose is sticking around, so <laughs> Jericho's in Rose's body. Um, and that all got wrapped up in 15 minutes, so let's go to the rest of the episode, which was Cadmus. Um, let's see, uh, we still have Gar, who hasn't transformed into anything except for Tiger. He transformed to a snake in episode one, and we didn't touch about that at all. We had a little bit of, oh, I killed a lot of people, and then Dick's like, it's okay, it's my fault. I hope that's not the only trauma relief that we're going to get for Gar, because <laughs> the boy needs some therapy, <laughs> not just, oh, my bad. Um, speaking of, we have Connor, who, it was an okay scene where his, his getting his mind cleaned or whatever. Oh, going back to Gar for a second, um, I hated the fact that... <laughs> Um, it was, no, I liked the fact that it was, like, the opposite of what happened in the first episode, where Gar was the one that saved Rachel and took, took her out of her, whatever, um, her vision thing, um, but then here, it was Gar Rachel that turned Gar back to normal, I liked that. I didn't like that they had to make it so fucking obvious that what they were doing. They were like, remember back in episode one where you touched my hand and I came back to my senses? I'm going to do the same thing right now, okay? I'm going to touch your paw and you're going to be better now. It's like, just do it. You don't have to explain it for, for us. <laughs> it lost all its power by making it into a thing. So we had that. What else do we have? I'm sorry, guys. This episode just, it destroyed me. And not in the way that they wanted it to. Um... We had Connor. Um, I actually liked the banter during the Superboy fight. I think that was really good, and that was like very Titans esque. It was kind of like, <laughs> the, you know, the three of them. It was Donna, Don, and um, Corey, and they're all like, "Okay, what are we gonna do now?" And then Corey's like, "Hey, Connor," and they're like, "Yeah, that's that's it." Okay, <laughs> I liked that little back and forth. That was good. That was good writing. I liked it. And then Hank had to show up for no fucking reason, and then. Don had to be here's a, here's your toy back and I was like right when right when everyone came out and then the girl was like where's my toy I was like okay someone's gonna die now 
because of fucking falling carnage and shit. I could I could just see it. Um and I just wish it was Hank. Honestly. Or Don. One of those two. It could have been both of them for all I care. But no, they had to go and kill Donna Troy. Which here's my saving grace for her being the one that dies. I don't know if I want to spoil it, but uh, okay, spoilers here. Um, for for those who don't read comics, who don't know who Donna Troy is, um, she's basically an automaton, a clone of Wonder Woman. In most in most recent iterations, um, Donna Troy is basically um, like a gen genetically modified Wonder Woman. Like, she's not her own person. She's literally made of clay, given life by Zeus. That kind of shit, okay? <laughs> that's that's what Donna Troy is. So, that is like my one saving grace for her being dead, is that she's not really dead. Because she's technically, like, basically a robot. In a, in a sense. She's not an actual robot, like, uh, you know, Red Tornado's a robot. Um, you know, he's an android. Anyway, my point is, it's not like that, but she's basically not a full human and so i'm hoping that they're gonna play with that but <laughs> given the fact that we're gonna deal with blackfire next season um <laughs> i don't trust the writers that's all i'm saying <laughs> they fucking wrote rachel off to go to themyscira with donna which okay maybe you know it kind of makes sense and maybe they could do something with that like i said you know donna troy's not really dead maybe Whatever. I don't know. I just don't get where this fucking story is going. You killed off Deathstroke. He's your main antagonist. He's like the the arc. That's like if Batman killed off the Joker. Now what? <laughs> yes, there's other rogues, but so what? <laughs> like the Joker's dead. Who cares? Um. Okay. What else? Um. Hank and Don. I'm over them. Like, I, I, they're coming back for season three, it looks like, and I have nothing against the actors. They are doing perfect. They're doing what the writing tells them to do. I don't say this lightly, but the, 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 whoever's behind the scenes needs to get fired. I'm sorry, but... Okay. Whoever is... One, writing the dialogue. They just need to get better. They, they have moments they shine, but, you know, they, they need to work on their craft. They can stick around. The dialogue, fine, whatever. Whoever's doing the plot, that person needs to get fired. Whoever is directing, um, as far as the action scenes go, the, actually, for most of the season, it was pretty okay. Like, it was bearable. But this last episode, I don't know who did the... <laughs> They, they, that person needs to get off, and they need to actually hire somebody who knows how to do action, you know, shooting action scenes. Um, the choreo was fine, like I said. From what I could tell, I couldn't really tell too much, but from what I could tell, the action choreo was fine. It was just, I couldn't tell what the fuck was going on. I couldn't see anything. It was just a flip, and then a cut. Literally half a second goes by, and then a cut, a cut, cut. I'm like, I can't even tell, you know, a sword swinging down, and then we're at a different angle. I don't know what the fuck's going on. So... You know, Iron Fist did it. They made it through season one like this, basically this last episode, and then season two they improved. So I'm, I'm sorry, but someone's got to go. <laughs> we, we can't, we can't keep these same people around. Somebody's got to go. If we're not getting rid of on talent, on screen talent, we got to get rid of off screen talent. Um. Okay, and I have so many other things that are going wrong with Bruce Wayne in this last episode. What the fuck? Um, but I want to talk about Dick, <laughs> Dick Grayson. Okay. I want to talk about this, this one. Um, it's been his show, which I'm, I, I've said this before. I, I'm okay with it being his show because he's the leader of the Titans. Um, you know, he's a, he's like our, our window in because he is probably the most familiar character that we are, uh, you know, general audiences are with any of these comic book characters. It's Dick Grayson, Robin. And so I'm okay with him. I'm okay with him being in the spotlight. I'm okay with him having his moments. Um, I just... 
the show needs to decide what it is. I think that's the biggest thing. The show needs to decide, is it an ensemble show? Is it like a superhero squad? Are we an action show? Are we a drama show? What the fuck are we? You know, take a lesson from your characters and ask, who am I? Because <laughs> these people just need to figure it out. Is it about Dick Grayson or is it about the Titans? Is it about certain Titans? Is it about all the Titans? Um, you know, is it about the fight scenes, the action, the you know, the, the superhero stuff? Or is it about, you know, our t- trauma and our turmoil and, um, you know, relationship issues? Is it about that? Um, it just needs to figure out its tone. Doom Patrol and Swamp Thing, they knew what they were doing. Doom Patrol was like, we're weird. <laughs> We're just going to do whatever, and we're going to do it well. Um, and then Swamp Thing, you know, is like, okay, we're a horror show. We're going to have horror elements to it, supernatural elements to it. But this show just needs to figure out what is it doing. Um, and it sucks because I think first season was better for me. I'll have – I was going to say I'll have to rewatch it, but honestly, I don't have the time or the patience to rewatch this show. Um, but from what I – from my nostalgia-filled memory, um, season one was better, and only that, only because it focused on a less, a smaller cast of characters. This thing is talk, tell me to shut up, but I have more stuff to say. The smaller cast of characters, so we got more focus on storylines of those characters. You know, we had, um, we didn't have too much of Gar, but he got way more screen time than he did last season, or this season, sorry. First season, he had more screen time than this season. Um, and so, because they only had the four people, they did, you know, I, I think I've said this before, but the hierarchy was Dick, Rachel, you know, Dick was just a bit higher than Rachel, and then Corey and Gar were, like, down here. This season, I couldn't even tell you where it is. I know Hank and Don were up here. Dick was up here still. Rachel, here, I don't know. Donna was down here. <laughs> Corey was actually still pretty good. Gar, <laughs> down here. <laughs> you know? And then they had to add Rose and Connor. Oh. They they need to focus. Just like I need to focus. Um, I just... I don't get why DC hates the Titans. It really feels that way. Because in the current in the current run, the Teen Titans are still around, which is fine. But it's it's Damien, um, and then I think I don't even know who else is on the squad right now. But it's a bunch of new characters that they created. Um, it's none of the uh, legacy characters. Um, those characters were all in the group called Titans, and you know it was the original five: um, uh, Dick, Donna, Wally, Roy, and Garth. Um, you know, and that one ran for about 30 issues. Um, I think it went 36 total. Um, but that iteration actually only went to 26 ish. Um, my point is, um, those characters eventually got written out. Um, the team changed, it became, uh, it was Dick, Steel, Gar, and Rachel, and then McGann, Miss Martian, and Kyle Rayner. <laughs> And Donna Troy was there, too. Um, everyone else got written up. And again, more spoilers. Spoilers. If you want to read the current comics, anything current, um, but specifically relating to Heroes in Crisis, uh, click off right now. Um, but they killed off Roy Harper. Wally West is a fugitive. Um, he's actually doing something in uh, his own title, which is nice. Um, it's a mini series called Flash Forward. Um, but there you go. Those two... Um, Garth is an alcoholic, um, more spoilers for, uh, Batman Superman comic, um, Donna Troy is currently infected by the Batman Who Laughs, and she's evil, um, those are those four, and then Dick has amnesia, (laughs) he thinks he's somebody else, he's working with the Court of Owls, so... I get that these people, these characters, need to have hardship, and they need to overcome challenges. But, it also feels like whoever 
somebody in DC just hates the Titans right now. Because <laughs> I don't feel the love. Like, there's a difference between... See, here's the thing. At least with Roy and Wally, I feel the love for those characters. It sucks that they're, the things they're going through right now, but those characters are getting, like, they're getting their due diligence, even though one's dead. Um, they're getting time devoted to them in ways that are pushing their characters forward. Um, they're, you know, pushing them to grow. But it feels like these other characters just don't get that love. And so that's that's part of the thing that I'm getting with the show, Titans, is that, you know, things are happening to them. Things are happening to Gar, yes. But is he growing? No. He's just killing more people. His kill count's growing. <laughs> Same with Connor. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but are they growing as a character? Are they learning from their mistakes? Are they tra processing the trauma? Are they, you know, doing making decisions that are different than last time because of inf information that they got since then? Um, yes for Dick. You know. Rachel, I'd say yes. She's been growing. Corey... It's debatable, but she's kind of growing. Um, Hank and Don? I don't think so. I mean, if anything, they're digressing. Um, Jason's growing. I'd say Jason's growing. In a, it, he's not growing in a good way, but he is moving in a direction. You know? Whereas it feels like Gar is just stagnant. Like, he's just there to be a punching bag. You know? If they cared about Gar as a character in this show, they would have spent the episode where he was, the episode, the one episode, by the way, where he, you know, was kind of, he was running the mansion by himself and he was helping Connor a little bit. They would have had him experiment with his powers. You know, like, it's simple things that they could do, but they just don't do it. That's my problem with the show. If there's simple solutions and they choose to make another problem instead of actually solving something. <laughs> like we spent a good three or four episodes being separated just to show up here. And then Rachel, I mean, granted not everyone's separated, but we lost Donna and Rachel left. What was the point? The whole point of the season is that we're all going to be united and then we lose two people. That's what I'm talking about with the writing. Like, yes, there needs to be stakes, people need to die and all that, but you don't kill off your main antagonist, Deathstroke. You don't kill off, well, you can kill off a character, but you didn't kill off the right one. Because there was no motivation for Donna to die. You know, there was no foreshadow. The only thing I can think of is that because Garth is dead, so now they're like soulbound lovers, whatever. Otherwise, we didn't get enough growth and potential with Donna to, like, feel that loss with her. That's my biggest problem with Donna dying, um, is that it wasn't earned. It wasn't an earned death. Like she, she just died to die. That's all. All it was. Cause you could have written that Connor fucking saved it, and he would have been electrocuted, and nothing would have happened. Cause he's Superboy. You know, you just wanted Donna to run in there because you wanted her to die. That's where the writing team needs to work out their shit because. You can see, you can kind of see why Dawn did what she did. She went to go save the thing. We saw Hank try and save her. It makes sense. Donna tried to save them. Yes, it makes sense. But why does she have to die? That's what the writers need to ask them, ask themselves: is why? Why would she? she if you, if your answer to why does she need to die is because the plot needs to move forward, that's a bad answer. You know, in, in that case, just let Hank push her out the way, and then he can get squashed. You know. He can die because he motivates the other characters. Because we saw, okay, he's been struggling with drugs. He's been struggling with being a hero. He's been trying to find his way. And now he finally saves somebody. He saves someone he loves. And, you know, his sacrifice is not in vain. We're going to move forward. We're going to live up to his, his example. That we may struggle at times. But now we need to, you know, we always need to overcome them and move forward. There. I made that so much better. Just by, <laughs> you know... Because you can't say the same thing about Donna. What struggles did she have this season? Being a bitch? 
that's not a struggle. That's just a character flaw. Like, <laughs> her death her death doesn't overcome that struggle. I'm going to have to go in a minute, so I'm going to wrap this up. But basically, get your shit together, writers, okay? I'm not a writer, but I feel like I could do this. <laughs> Hire me, okay? Hire me for DC. <laughs> Let's go. I'll write you a story. Um, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. I think I'm going to take a hi hiatus for the holidays. Um... I'm watching Ruby right now, but I don't think there's any other shows really that I'm going to pick up. I might watch the crossover, the Crisis crossover. Um, I don't watch the Arrowverse, but I, I, I've caught... I used to watch The Flash and Super, Supergirl, um, but I'm a couple seasons behind. But I might watch the crossover just because there's so much shit going on. So if, if that's probably the only DC thing you're going to see from me, to be honest. Um, yeah, there's not much going on. Um, leave leave suggestions of stuff you want me to watch. Um, maybe I'll check them out. Because, like I said, I don't really have any shows. Star Girl doesn't start up until the spring, and I'm not going to watch Harley Quinn. Um, uh, but yeah. <laughs> Trying to look forward. So leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Um, what did you guys think of the episode, the finale, the season overall? Do you agree with me at all? Did you listen to me ramble? Thanks for listening if you listened to that last 20 minutes of me just rambling and venting. Um, I hope you guys have a great holiday season. Um, because, again, I don't know if I'm going to be posting a lot. But, yeah, thanks for watching with me. Um, hope you guys all stick around until Stargirl starts up. And we'll see. We'll see. I'm optimistic for the future. <sighs> thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> um, see you in the next video.